Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be on logarithm once again and this is actually a less complicated question compared to the one that we did together on my last episode in my last video that was a little bit more complicated than this one so if you can solve that one then this one shouldn't be a problem with you but basically the question is just to solve this equation Okay, very very simple. This is the equation that you are looking at and usually when they say solve, it means that you just have to find out the value of x. What they mean is x equals to what? Okay, and as I did in the last video, I'll just be writing out the steps right here. And the first thing that you want to do here, okay, you have to write back the equation. Okay, the first thing that I said to do on the other video was to bring all the log to the same side of the equation. First step, bring log together. And by together, I mean on the same side of the equation, meaning this is the equal sign. And all the log must be on one side, all the numbers will be on one side. But as you can see here, it's already done. All the log are in, on one side. A number on the other side so we don't have to do that step but the second step is to make sure there is only one log all right so to do this we can refer to the second rule of logarithm which is that log a m minus log a n equals to log a m over n and just apply this rule to this question again log a only log 5 the one in front will be your numerator and the one behind will be your denominator so basically your numerator will be x plus 1 and your denominator will be x okay and just copy back here that equals to 2. And now what you want to do for the next step is extremely simple as well. Okay. I hope you still remember it when I thought it in the previous video but I'll go over it again so you know how to eliminate log. Because the next step is actually to remove log. Okay, so to make sure that log is not here, you have to do this. So there are three things here. One, two, three. Okay, there are three things here. And what is in the middle is always the king. Remember? So this is the king. And the king doesn't change at all. So the king is just brought down. It remains the same. And then we have these two things on the left and right of the king. So what happens here is small becomes big and big becomes small okay so this is small but now it becomes big so you can write a huge 5 over here and this was big but it becomes small so you can write a small 2 over here so it becomes 5 square so now you have x plus 1 over x equals to 25 okay what you want to do here is just to bring x upward so you get x plus 1 equals to 25x i'll just continue around here i hope this is not too confusing um, so x plus 1 equals to 25x and now you have to bring x to one side numbers to one side so 25x minus x, you get 24x, so 24x equals to 1, and x will just be 1 over 24, and this will be your final answer. So as I said, 
This is a simpler question than the one we did in the previous video, so I hope that you understood this one. And in our next video, I'll be doing a more difficult log question, but I hope that you understood this one. And yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.